just did on, did on a waterfront down in Vancouver, and so they were up in our attention span, you know, they were up in our, our vision, so we just contacted them and found that they were <coughs> extremely interested. So um, there's nothing to say that we can't contact other uh, groups in the future. Right. Yeah, it wasn't. And and just out of curiosity, um, what is there some sort of rationale for why the the sculptures would be centered on our earth, wind, fire, water? Well, when you're dealing with an artist, they kind of have their own thoughts about how things you know, should come about. And um, we just told them we wanted things to be reflective of our community and our uh, the Pacific Northwest. So that's what they came up with, and it was very well welcomed by the Parks Commission. Okay. Um, and it, I understand that these are going to be kinetic uh, artwork. And one thing that we need to consider as far as an unintended consequence of that is kinetic artwork makes, makes noise. And um, if people come down to the dock to have a quiet day of fishing or just being on the river, has there been some discussion about how that's going to be, I mean, how that's going to impact them? We've talked about the bearings, um, mm -hmm. having bearings or silence, and this is a way to silence and make it a little bit quieter, so yeah, that has been discussed. Okay. Yeah. These are still conceptual too, and they haven't um, finalized. They won't even start working on it until the contract is signed. So. Dave? Uh, a couple of questions, if I may. Uh, on the bottom of the first page on your uh, agenda bill here, <coughs> you indicate that um, elements of the project will be paid through for the use of park impact fees. Uh, if, if these funds are not used, when do they go back to the public? In other words, what's, what's the window of opportunity we have to use these funds? Six years after they're collected. Say again? Six years after it's collected. Do we know? <coughs> are we coming up on that? Yeah, well, they're, always, on they're always changing. So. Yeah, we're, we're about three years uh, away from, from from where we have a problem that we have to start getting back, and they actually go pay it back to the person who paid for or paid for them originally, not to the public, but to the developer who put them up. And we're about three years aging. Okay. The the quote and the scope of work. Um, about halfway down there, it says, uh, "Women who weld will provide maintenance instructions." And two questions: one is how much maintenance is required, and the other is who pays for it. I don't know how much it's, it's required because the design hasn't been completed yet. So it's difficult to estimate what kind of maintenance is going to be needed on something that has no design yet. So, um, and the city would be responsible uh, for things like vandalism. Uh, the women who weld have requested um, first right of refusal on that work. Um, so we could pay the uh, women who weld to take care of that. It's like anything in, that we put into a park. If we put playground equipment in, we still need to maintain it. So um, there may be repair costs to those as well. They can shin up that pole and get those things <laughs> over here. Yeah, including the extra five feet. <laughs> I've got one last question, if I may. And uh, RJ, I think you're probably better qualified to answer this one. Suzanne, thanks. Um, on the back page there, the last page, it says the four sculptures priced at Sozo plus a uh, tax of 8.2%. <laughs> why, why is the city paying sales tax? We're required to pay sales tax on anything we purchase. We're not exempt from that. Is that right? That's correct. That's income for us. <laughs> oh, it yeah, comes back in a small form that right time. We get it. You get a portion of it back. <laughs> a portion of it, yeah. A portion of it. Right. Even anything we go across the river and we buy and we bring back here, we need to do a sales use tax to complete mm. that. But the only drink that the city gets, Dave, is on uh, on the licensing of vehicles and paying taxes on the vehicles for the licensing portion. But nope, you get to pay taxes with taxes. Isn't that weird? Other questions for Suzanne? Yeah. I'd like to move away from this for just a second, but while everybody's here. I see that they're pulling the pilings out of the tunnel, and that's kind of starting. How close are they on that being done? Do you have any update on that? Uh, oh. Yeah, they, they finished compaction today, so we're looking three weeks possibly. 
So it looks pretty good. And Molly, did you say the artwork won't go in? until sometime this summer, is that, is that your own? Oh, no, 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 I think it'll go in earlier than that, much earlier than that. I just, I don't have a schedule from the um, facility that's doing that piece. That's such a neat idea, having all the artwork with those kids doing that. That's, mm -hmm. uh -huh. I kind of like that whole uh, concept because, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it puts something into the community. These kids might take a real strong Look at it and say, "This is something that I did, and, and look what I, you know, look what I have done here." So, yeah, no. Um, in one of the meetings with Superintendent Baldwin, she mentioned that they they would really, they the schools would really like to get involved in one of those programs as well. She likes the Arbor Day program. She loves what they were able to empower the kids to do with the tunnel and that kind of stuff. So. And that's my thought with the, with the park board. If they come up with some conceptual ideas, mm -hmm. don't just let these kids freelance because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> but if they had a conceptual idea and said, here's what we'd like to see, maybe the teachers and, and Teresa and everybody else gets involved, and that's what we end up with, that product. Mm -hmm. If I might interject, I think that at least starting off with the women who well, this is a professional organization, and it sets a good standard for the art that we want in our community. I think it's staff level and commission level, this is ready to advance to you for next week. However, if there are questions that you want further information about, we can also hold this off until you have all the information you want. Mm -hmm. I think at this point we're looking for direction. Do we advance it in next week's agenda, or is there more information that you would like? Bring it on. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Well, you know what? If it was one of those things in the park that we didn't see anybody participating in, but you, you watched from about Anytime the weather is out nice, we're going to see that thing ringed with people down there on that. So I think that's kind of a neat idea that we're going to put something down there. They get to enjoy it. Uh, it's a it's a very uh, well used piece of property in the mm -hmm. city. Right, and I think when the women who weld came out to to uh, at their first meeting with the parks board, um, we instructed them. Kind of, we said they said, well. We just want to do a kind of a walkthrough of what you guys have out here to see what's, you know, what might generate some interest for us. And um, this is what really resonated with them. And I think it is very unique that it kind of ties right in with the, with the whole tunnel project and that whole process of, you know, the tunnel, the, all the piers and stuff and the, Captain Clark Park uh, is just a really wonderful continuation of a really natural resource that we have at our disposal that is quite remarkable. If, if you have to uh, replace the pilings or do work on the pilings uh, in order to install these pieces of art, uh, where does that funding come from? That would have to come out of the operation maintenance fund. And if it's of any significance, we will bring that matter back to you. I'd also note that apparently your park board has had substantial review of this matter. My sense of the group is bring this back next Monday. If you have further reflections, more thought about it, you can always, you know, discuss it more next Monday. Checking. Is there any comments from the park board about this? Hmm. Uh, my colleagues, I'd just like to say that. 